DreAllDay.com. Today's daily motivation is about moving with urgency. One of my favorite books is called The 50th Law. It's Robert Greene and 50 Cent. They did this book in conjunction probably around 2009, 2010, somewhere around that time frame, maybe 2011. And one of the things that Robert Greene talks about, Robert Greene wrote most of the book. I mean, he got 50 Cent's stories and then he wrote the book. And what Robert Greene talks about in the introduction to that book is he talks about the book is about fear. It's about people living without fear. Because he diagnosed that 50 Cent's main superpower in life is that he's a fearless individual. And not fear in, like, the kind of, not surface level fear, but in the depths of inside of him, his soul, he's just not a fearful person. And one of the things that Robert Greene talks about in the book is that people who operate by what he then deemed the 50th law, so they operate with uh, supreme boldness, they're very unconventional, they have maximum fluidity, mental fluidity, and they operate with a sense of urgency. Those are the four traits that he talked about. And then the book is basically centered around those four traits and stories from 50 and then how you can apply these things to your life. And the one I want to focus on is a sense of urgency. And the reason why this matters so much is because all of us in life, we are all on the clock. You know what I mean? When I say we're all on the clock, that means eventually your clock's going to be up. Eventually you will be out of time and you die. Now we have five forms of investment in life. Time, money, attention, energy, and focus. The most important one is time because it's the only one that you can run out of and you can't get any back. You can run out of money. Any of you ever been broke? Okay, you can make more money, right? You can be broke and then make money. You can run out of attention, energy, and focus. Those are usually forms of fatigue or boredom. You go take a nap or find something that interests you, and all of a sudden you got all that attention, energy, and focus back, right? So you can have zero of that, and then you can go back to having 100 of it. You can run out of those things and get more of them. Money, another one. Time, you cannot run out of time and get more. Now, you can run out of time for like a project or something like that on a deadline, but I mean in the big picture. In the big picture of life, if you run out of time, that means death. That means you're dead. That means you know, your family is gathering. There's a funeral. You no, know, There's a hashtag for you, hopefully. You no, know, there's Your name's on a t-shirt and all of that. All right, you run out of time, it's over. That's why we need to have a general, a general sense of urgency about what we're doing in our lives. So all the big goals that you have, all the things that you want to achieve, all the stuff you've been talking about doing that you haven't gotten around to yet, that you've been taking your time on, or you're saying, well, no, God will show me the way, or um, hopefully it's in the cards for me. Hopefully it works out. You know, one day maybe it'll happen. Let me just work on it a little bit more on my own, and hopefully it works. All that nonsense you've been saying to yourself that are all direct slaps in the face to a sense of urgency, uh, you got to kill all of those beliefs. You got to kill all of those quotes that sound good, but mean essentially mean a whole lot of nothing. You need to have more urgency about getting things done and actually achieving in your life because if you don't have urgency about getting things done, most of the stuff that you're talking about doing ain't ever happening. All right, that's the bottom line. If you don't get urgency about making certain things happen, they are not going to happen. They're not going to happen by themselves. All right, these things don't happen by osmosis. All right, if y'all don't know what osmosis is, it's basically a scientific, uh, what's the word? Scientific... Uh, damn, the word is escaping me. But a is a scientific theory that basically you put two things next to each other, then whatever happens with one is just going to start happening with the other. So osmosis be like if you hang around somebody who is you hang around somebody who's really rich, you're going to start to get rich. That's the law of association. Now that can work, but osmosis of just thinking about and talking about something happening that usually doesn't lead to an outcome. Uh, how many of you ever known somebody who was always talking about doing stuff, something, but they never actually did it? All right, so talking about it is not the same as getting around somebody with the right energy. Actually getting around somebody with the right energy might help you have a little bit more urgency because you're going to have two choices when you get around that person. You're either going to step your urgency up and get to their level or they're going to stop hanging with you because you're bringing their average down and they can't hang with people who ain't on the same page as they are. So you need to get more urgency about your life and about making things happen. So you need to look at your goals. And if you can't look at your goals, it's because you don't have them written down. So you need to write your goals down if you haven't done that already. Then you need to put deadlines on your goals. Okay, a goal without a deadline is also known as a wish. If you don't have a deadline on your goal, then you have a wish. If your goal is you want to make $10,000 a month, but you don't have a deadline by what month you want to start making that $10,000, what you actually have is a wish to make $10,000 a month. And I talk to entrepreneurs every day, and a lot of them talk about that number, but they never get there because they don't have a deadline. And here's the, here's the issue with deadlines. Here's the reason why a deadline matters so much, because this logically makes sense, right? Here's the reason why many people never do this, is because putting a deadline on yourself to achieve an outcome 
also means holding yourself accountable. And it means forcing yourself to do stuff faster or forcing yourself to do stuff, period, that you otherwise might not be making yourself do as soon as you wanted to do it or making yourself do at all because you were just saying, well, it sounds good to say it, but you didn't actually want to put any pressure or an accountability on yourself to actually do it. This is the main reason why many people never achieve in life or they only achieve about half of what they wanted to simply because they are unwilling to put pressure and urgency on themselves to achieve something. I'm telling you that in order for you to achieve what you want to achieve in life, that's exactly what you need. You need pressure, you need urgency, you need to be forced to do it. And ideally, you can put that force on yourself, but listen, that ain't for everybody. In some areas, I can force myself to do things. There are the other areas where I'm not that good at forcing myself, so you know what I do in those areas? I go hire coaches, trainers, experts, get in masterminds where other people can put the pressure on me, and I voluntarily allow myself to be pressured by other people. Why? Because it puts urgency on me and it forces me to do things that I otherwise may not have been able to force myself to do, and that allows me and positions me to achieve at in level at levels at which I otherwise may not have achieved. And if the goal, what's the goal here? So let's let's go back to that. What's the goal here in life? Is the goal comfort? Is the goal to feel good? Is the goal to feel unpressured? Or is the goal to achieve? Now, if your goal is to just feel comfortable and happy and unbothered, then you're listening to the wrong person. All right, this whole thing is called work on your game for a reason. All right, work on your game, not relax by the pool. Work on your game. So if your goal is to achieve outcomes then you need to be pressured. You need to be forced. You need urgency. And you need to enlist anyone or anything that will help you maintain that urgency and keep that pressure on you. Basically keep his foot on your neck, his foot in your ass, or whatever you prefer, or either one, that is going to move you to action and get things done. That's the urgency that you need in life. So with all that said, I send out daily motivation texts every day as well as I do these videos. So you want to get that daily motivation text straight to your phone every day. It's a, a different message than is in the video, so you'll get two of them. My number is 305-384-6894. Text me, you'll get that daily motivation every morning straight to your phone. Secondly, work on your game university. That's where I do all my coaching. That's where all my courses are at. That's where all my high-level training is at. You can get access to the university by going to work on your game university.com. In addition to the two physical mailings that I send out every month, the Bulletproof Bulletin and the Black Book. You want to get both of those, just go to workonyourgameuniversity.com and you can see your options for joining. we got different levels you can join in, in the uh, university. And all the YouTube stuff. Hit the notification bell, like this video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, let everybody know that you're getting game here at Daily Motivation. We want as many people as possible getting this message every day because this changes lives when people hear it and they listen to it and they apply it. One, two, three. Hear, listen, and apply. All three. And it's the difference between hearing and listening. So all that said, we'll see you tomorrow. You'll have an amazing day. Work on your game. Dre all day.